welcome to the adventures of Big Doggy Wolf Wolf Pug herself, who yesterday helped her people gain freedom from their overlords in Canaan. So Canaan, I'm probably expecting to fall apart during this episode, to be honest with you. They've got so much territory that's just sp spread out, splintered, cut off. This bit, obviously, is uh, the, two, the two kind of main chunks there have the Kemetic Empire and the Hittites between them. So I'm not expecting those guys to last too long. I'm hoping, I'm praying that actually Kemet won't swallow too much of it up here and these guys will, will, will kind of pick them apart. At the end of the day, if, if Komet do end up taking just this section, it's not actually that much, but the, the weaker we can keep Komet, the better. Whenever there's an opportunity to be bumping off arrows, we definitely need to do that. Now, I've got a couple of plans for today. Number one, we'll continue on with the... Uh, with the alliance of the city-states of Mycenae, because I think that's a pretty good plan. I think it is going to work eventually. Just if we get enough of them. I know AIs are, uh, uh, allies, I should say, are crap in this game. But if we get enough of them, just by pure mass, just by pure numbers alone, we should get enough allies to take on Komet, right? I think we'll take... Uh, do, do we not have, like, an invasion cast spell? Like, right, of course we do. An invasion cast spell against Migdonia. Now, while we're doing that, we can work on our secret other project, which no one in the Lucantapros dynasty must know about. This must be a secret of only pugs. And that is to breed a new generation. So she hasn't had a kid for 40 years. We did yesterday put her on uh, celibacy. Um, just to prevent any more kids being born in. Her husband is kind of a bit of a mess. Oh, we ended up becoming a bear wolf man. That's incredible. Uh, he is a bit of a mess though. He's only Herculean. And even then, I don't think we ended up with too many particularly Herculean kids. If this guy were to disappear, she's not she's not a lover of him, she's not a soulmate or anything like that. If he were to die, we could replace him with somebody much better. Say, for example, I don't know, Prince Cheshi of Kemet, who happened to be a vampire. We could take him on as a concubine, or force a marriage, if that's possible. Take him on as a concubine, and try and breed hybrids. Is a hybrid born of both vampire and lichen blood? I don't know what... I, I don't know what are the side effects of becoming a hybrid. I don't know how that stacks up to being a vampire or a werewolf individually. But it could be very, very powerful. Now, I don't think we can kidnap this guy specifically, can we? Oh, we can, but he's a vassal. We need to find an unlanded vampire, essentially, to kidnap, bring to our court, and keep as a concubine. We can work on that in the background while we're also simultaneously at war up here. So I think what we'll do is just, just start things off, huh? Um, so we can only attempt one invasion war against a high kingdom to your title once per lifetime. I genuinely thought we'd already done it, but evidently not. So we won't worry about it too much. Um, now, bear in mind, this guy does have, what, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different kingdoms. So whenever we declare war, we should always declare war for the biggest anyway. But we do have to make sure everything's nicely sieged down. Otherwise, he's obviously going to keep, you know, maybe potentially some kingdom level titles. It's going to be a bit of a mess. And we want to we want to get as many allies as possible. So we go for the high kingdom of Macedon, seeing as that's kind of smack bang in the center and also quite large there. Vastly inferior. We can use Grandpa um, Unawas's land. Somebody commented yesterday saying that every single time I've said his name, I've said it wrong. So it is Unawas, but I'm going to keep calling him Unawas because it just rolls off the tongue a little bit better. We're going to get her... Uh, we, we're gonna get her to use her being pug to use his lands as kind of a kind of a springboard. We'll jump on. I, I think what we need to do is really take the the non war gold kingdoms first. We don't want to get them up to 100 percent or accidentally capture them or something like that. And and well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. They can't force peace or anything in this, can they? Oh, it doesn't matter either way. We'll kind of see how it goes here. Um, but it should be pretty easy. Right, let's do it then. It's currently, by the way, uh. It's currently 5 a.m. and my voice is blown. So I apologize if I'm a little more a little more hoarse towards the end of this episode. Let's go raise all armies. Let's go stick our rally point, I guess, just right there. We'll do it. Boom. Let's go, people. See what we can do in the meantime. So hold off on the war a second. Good Lord. Did you see all that shit popping up then? Right. Okay. Let's go to the character finder and let's find a vampire who is unlanded, preferably. Um, not ruler, or just unlanded. E either way or what? No, 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 all. Well, there's one in our realm. Uh, all? What the hell happened there? Top realm? There is. Court chaplain 
Nimatha Hap is a uh, court chaplain of Petty King of Phonius. Uh, whoever the hell this guy is. A, a giant chad of a man, good lord. Um, yeah, she's apparently that Neanderthal's chaplain. Oh my god, she's also doggy. That's great. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about the religion description. And if we're trying to kidnap a comedic descendant of the pharaoh to become our concubine, it's even more appropriate. God, I hate that. Okay, well, we'll leave this Easter Island head in his vampire court chapel alone, and we'll find a find a, a, a fresh one, a better one. We're going to go ruler uh, none. So the AI went absolutely butt wild on producing other vampires. They went fucking nuts with it, which I'm not really surprised in hindsight that our dynasty got a little bit out of control. Also, I would like to say that uh, Tutu Horus Gaza is the best name I've ever heard, and if someone would like to put that up for a remote name suggestion, I'm 100% up for it. Right, so we want to go uh, gender men, preferably. Um, and these are all unlanded men, are they? Oh, okay, fair enough. This guy, Tau Horus Gaza, is handsome and a vampire. We are obviously looking for some congenital traits if we can get our hands on it. Um, like genius. Can we, can we throw in, let's, let's throw in genius as well. So nobody. Um, intelligent would be my next best choice. All right, failing that, I guess Herculean would be the next one in my opinion that I'd want to go for. All right, failing that. Um, what's the other one? Hail? No, there's one between hail. Ro ro robust? That's it. Robust. Nothing either. I think we are going to have to go for Tau Horus Gaza. Oh, his neck doesn't quite match up to his head. Oh my god, he's got gills. <laughs> Although, maybe that's appropriate for the sea people to get ourselves a, a a gill vampire patriarch of the new, the, the new and improved the immortal dynasty, for lack of a better word. So get him abducted. 85% chance over the course of 11 months. We need to try and get some agents then. I want to make sure this happens. Ah, oh, we've got a couple of people we can convince. Mer jo Josa of Rafa is up for it. And that should take us up to 95. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. So he knows he's trying to be kidnapped. But nobody knows it's us. Fuck, really? That's unbelievable. Um... Well, let's get some more agents on board then. That's very convenient. I'll just say that we hired an agent and then the plot was immediately outed. I'm not saying I blame Joe Sora of Rafa, uh, but if anybody deserves it, I think, there's a, I think there's a strong correlation there. Right, get them all on board. Back to 85, 85. Oh, Max is 85 on an abduction plot. I shouldn't have done anything. Not that that guy did out the plot, of course, so it made, made really no difference. Um, but it does mean that if he goes into hiding or whatever, we've got that kind of backup. Making it uh, making it more likely. If anything does happen, I don't know, say he gets really good at intrigue overnight or something crazy like that. So where is he? He is currently based here um, in Per Majed. Right, let's get our support schemes. Oh, you just do that from court now, don't you? Sorry. It's been a while, it's been a while since I've played CK3. Uh, it's been all of about... <laughs> all about 12 hours, to be honest with you. Right, prisoners can be ransomed. I'm not really... Don't think we really need gold. There's no reason to hold them, though, is there? We could let them free and get a shitload of opinion. We don't need gold. I would rather just get the goodwill. Keep the people on board. Because bear in mind, when we breed a lichen vampire half-breed, it is going to upset all of our dynasty members. Because their their opinion of hybrids is minus 30. So, as far as an election goes, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get that kid elected as well. This is going to be really, really tough. This is going to be really, really tough. Um, let's see how we do. Let's just see how we do. Right, let's not focus too much on them when we've got a massive war against uh, a huge swath of land up here. And let's just go province to province and burn everything down. Let's just go right around the border to start off with and then work our way back towards his capital. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess we'll head over here next then. There is absolutely no reason for not taking everything. Um, what happened there? Something, something with our plot? 85, 85. I think one of our agents got in prison, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna distract myself too much with that, because it's 85% no matter what, right? Okay. As my agents- With my agents coming and going freely at the court of Permajed, towers within reach. The agents are in position to let a small group of people in the middle of the night to, un to cover them as they depart undetected. Ideally, while muffling the screams of a kicking burlap sack, 85% chance we get ourselves a new husband. Come on. Ah, oh, we actually did get him. Nice. I can't believe it worked. Me neither. It was as simple as setting some of my allies into the castle in the middle of the night. Tower's no doubt only kicking himself with the poor security. Thankfully, it's a lot better where he is now. 
I was going to say, if we fail to get that guy, then there were really no other good options. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really glad we ended up with you first. So keep things paused. Can I just take him as a concubine? Um, mate consort. There he is. And then you, uh, we could marry him. And I think I would prefer that. So we are going to kill Amphawastos dead. I'm sorry, Mike. They're not particularly, you know, they're, they're, they're good. They've, they've got high opinion, loyalty and respect. Uh, but besides that, that's it. There's no, there's no soulmates here. There's no love. It, it, it is simply a, a good union. But that union, unfortunately, is not as good as potentially something much better. I don't know what the side effects of this are going to be. We're going to make the whole world hate us, though. All the vampires and the werewolves are going to be pissed by this. <laughs> I think Pug has good reasons. I think that the Lycans, no matter everything we've done here, they have maintained corrupt and 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 deprived and deviance all the way through it. 95% chance he's killed. Goodbye, my husband. You've served us well. Oh! Really? It seems to have been difficult to get hiking and for Wastos by himself. Once the assassin followed it, he was no longer for this world. However, someone somewhere slipped up and let my involvement in the crime be known. At least I can console myself with the fact that hiking and for Wastos is worse off than I am. Oh my god. We got caught? Really? And all of these kids were... Are they annoyed at me for killing their father? Minus 80. Minus 95, actually. Wow. Shit. Okay, then. Let's go to our pathetic little... Wherever he is. Our pathetic little... Uh... Where are consorts? Hello? Co consorts? Where the hell do we keep those these days? Ah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> it took me, it took me way too long to find. Right, now we are going to marry you. We gain a thousand. Why do we get a thousand for that? And we are now married to High King Tao. We, got a very, we gave him a very nice necklace. And he in return is going to give us a necklace. Well, maybe. Let the weird breeding project begin. I know how I can employ both strategies. Improved defense and offense. That's really what we need right now. When we are walking into provinces and they're capitulating instantly. Really could do with a bit more offense, to be honest with you. Not sure we've... Not sure we've really nailed that one. Okay, so everything south of here is is fairly decently sieged down. Let's head up here. Grab this first. Loop round. Do, do kind of an M shape. Bring it back up. Tidy this stuff up and then head through there. All right. Absolutely fine. Great side effect. And now... Hang on, hang on. Before I forget. Let's go to decisions and stop preventing pregnancy. Let the hybrids commence. Ah! Oh, they can force you to... Oh, balls. They can actually force you to accept peace then. Oh, balls. I think it's after two years, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. I, was, I wasn't wrong earlier, but unfortunately it's bitterness in the ass now. <laughs> ah, well, you know what? That's okay. That's, that's a massive swath of land, naturally. Um, so we've now got the kingdom of somewhere I assume we can make. Um, so, so, so what are we looking for here? You can negotiate alliances too. Oh, look at this. That's quite cool. Um, Titus can be created. The kingdom of... No, no, no. Get out of here. Uh, the High Kingdom of the Cyclades. Where is that? Oh, my God. We can make that into a kingdom. I would rather just hold that, seeing as it is, you know, sea people. That's Cyprus. What have we got up here? I'm really too interested in that one. We could give all of these away. Uh, Sporides, Kingdom of Elmia. What? We can't make any High Kingdom titles at all from here. Are you kidding me? We can usurp titles. Uh, yes, that makes more sense. Okay, so we can get the Kingdom of Olympos. That's a cool one. Big fan of that. Give me that one. And Macadon as well. I think I will put them under one king. Just because otherwise we're, we're potentially risking, again, uh, vassals killing vassals, allies killing allies, that type of thing. Our son, cousin, and charioteer. Agelius Lucanthropos is not in line to the throne. More importantly with that, it means that if we end up playing as the Lycan child, it's his half-brother, which means we can renegotiate the alliance. So that works fine. You can have Olympos and everything there within. And Macadon and everything there within. You know, I'm just going to give you all this other crap too. Yeah. This is all yours. Do with it what you will. Boom. Quite easy to defend a lot of this round too. Because obviously it's at the very northwest corner of the map here. So it's not as if they're going to come out under attack from... Uh, yes. Under attack from external forces. And now we should be able to say, Hey, Jealous, negotiate alliance and use a hook. There we are. Because we are house heads. Something we obviously didn't have access to immediately. So we've got allies here, 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 and here. Our allies are fighting one another, though, which is quite annoying. There's obviously no way to form alliances with other allies, tragically. Seduce Tau. I think that's a great idea. We need it. 
So what was I saying before when I got rudely interrupted? Our, our family members are all just hideous, aren't they? We've got, no matter what we do, we've had Lassie at the top committing horrible crimes of incest against the very rules that she herself established. Our family members not following the rules. Even when we reformed the religion, they still went against us. I feel like there's just some sort of inherent curse to lichenism. So maybe by, by doing the half-breed, she might be able to... Because Pug's life's work has always been, you know, balance, restoration, keeping things... Keeping the status quo, maintaining order, and it's just fucking chaos with our family members. They're killing each other over scraps of land. When they're not killing each other, they're diddling each other. There's no middle ground here. So maybe with a new, a new fresh slate, half, half like and half vampire, we might be able to solve some problems. What have we got in here? Probably a load of crap. Yeah, prisoners. I thought we might have. Let's go ahead and again. I'm just gonna let more go. We don't need the gold. I would prefer to have the opinion right now and just keep things. Oh my god. Keep things nice and straightforward. How are we doing on the religion front? I haven't checked that for quite a while, huh? Um, Doggy's doing super, super well. We're going to start displacing proto Hellenic soon. Um, in terms of our domain, it's actually only like one, two, two, three provinces, I believe, that one too. Mycenaean. Yeah, so there's only three provinces right now that aren't... Um, and, and those ones are still Labradorinthian here, so those ones definitely need converting. 25 years left. Good God. Aurelian Knossos, can I get a conversion out of you? We can, potentially. Something pious, then. That was great, wasn't it? It was so good, he actually flipped religion. He is now a good dog, like the rest of us. Oh! This is a monumental occasion. A monumental occasion. I'm hoping we can get a genius, beautiful hybrid. Oh my god. A child growing in my womb, and I have no doubt it's the child of my ex-husband, High King... Tao. Hey? Oh my god. I wonder if she fell pregnant while he was a consort. And then when we've taken him on as a, a full-blown marriage, it now thinks that the... Uh, it will not be considered a bastard. Okay. Inform Tao. As we are united in marriage, we are now united in heart. And he is now our lover. He was so happy to hear about this hybrid. I wouldn't be. To be fair, we treated him well. We abducted him and we've brought him into this lovely life. We gave him a nice necklace. And now we're giving him a fancy child. It's, uh, you know, maybe he's just a man of luxury. What is he like? Lustful. And, oh, generous? He's a reveler, though. We can give him everything he wants. It's fine. But now I think we step it up even further. The Empire of Canaan, in their current form, are still quite a monolith. So we've got a choice here. We either shatter them, at which point we break, obviously, their, their primary title, their Empire Tier title, and, and separate it all into a bunch of independent kingdoms, which would allow our family members to sweep him up, and our vassals to sweep them up. It would also give opportunity to Hattie, but more importantly, it would give opportunity to, com to Komet. But I think if Komet really wanted to take this land in Canaan, they'd have done it already. My God, they go all the way through down the Arabian Peninsula. Holy shit. Um, I think if Komet wanted it, they could just take it. So if we splinter it, it gives our people more opportunities. How are they doing? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 80,000, you say. Um, if we go seize or lands or shatter empire, we count as similar. But again, it's 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 kind of this versus... Actually, I don't really know where the majority of their troops are going to come from. I would assume still the Nile and the Nile Delta, but of course they've got kind of this area here. Starting to go down the Arabian Peninsula. I don't think that's too massive. Um, yeah, this is tricky. Because they are bringing troops quite literally from one end of the map to the other. If they want to attack us. Whereas we are much more concentrated. But it's still far more inconvenient for us. Because we all have to embark. And we all have to take river crossings. Naval landings. That type of thing. This is tricky. It is quite literally sea versus land at this point. <gasps> there he is. Kagemni Horus Gaza. What a name. Did we marry non-matrilineally? Oh you moron. You absolute fool. And the worst part is. Genius. Beautiful. And consecrated blood. Obviously, consecrated blood. Hybrid. I'm married non-matrilineally. You absolute fool. No. I'm, I'm sorry. We can't let something like this live. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Right. Divorce him. But I don't want him to leave our court. Um, we can imprison him again. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang um, on. Romance him. Sing him a love ballad. Ah, and he was, big, he was a big fan of that. Right. Um, 
Okay, if we divorce him, he won't immediately leave, though, will he? No, he won't. He won't, because he's our charioteer, too. That was convenient. Arrange marriage, him to us, matrilineally. Matrilineally. Okay. Oh, hi, King Tal, my songbird. I can I can embrace you openly now. The blessing of both Persephonia, Pers Pers Persephonia and the people around me. I'm the happiest woman alive. Come here, husband of mine. There we are. Uh, does that actually stop her trying to romance? Oh, no, it still continues. That's bizarre. I've never seen that event before. Right. Let's try that again. Round two, if you don't mind. Oh. My vassal. What? 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 Su Watsuwakos throws his head back with a wicked laugh. What? Uh, so, so Tao is being black, is being, is being bad mouthed by this guy. Yes, do it. V draw your sword, Churl. As if he's going to fight Lassie. 100 prowess versus 27. You are dead. What was his name? What was his name? I did right click in there, but it closed the notification rather than what what to su What was his name? Fuck, I don't remember what he's called. Die. Die. Nobody defeats Lassie in combat. And I mean that quite literally. No one defeats her, so he only must have cheated. There is no other explanation for it. What? Ah! Right, he's dead too. Uh Oh, wait, wait, wait. Someone, someone pointed this out to me. And I never actually read it before. But it is absolutely fantastic. To the fair pug. That's us, by the way. While I try to be a good dog, I still stumble from time to time. As such, I wish to donate this sum of gold to the church in order to compensate for my failings. Well, of course I'll take your hundred gold. All good dogs go to heaven after all. Yes. Another attempt. You got any more of those genius... I, I need those genius... Attractive kids. What was it? Genius something? What? My husband went and fornicated with Hamet Nesut Waret had Tana Kabit, the wife of Pharaoh Nehesi of Kemet. No. I fought the Pharaoh's wife. <laughs> um <sighs> Arrest the vile lecher. I cannot believe he would do this. My acquaintance, Hamet Nasut Waret Het Nutter Kabit, has been showing signs of pregnancy as of late. Tao is the real father. You're welcome, Nehesi. How could you do this, Tao? Where did you find the time to do this, Tao? Although he's got, he's got gills, so he probably just, you know, probably just swam. Probably just swam. It's, it's barely, I mean, you could chuck a stone from there. That's fine. There seems only one fitting end to you. Into the labyrinth, bitch. <laughs> and there he goes. Poor little Tao. What? Oh. No. You can't do that. Fine. Release him. But only if he releases in return. Get out of here. Right. You're, you're back on. You're, you're back allowed out. But then, only if you diddle, and then you're going back in prison. Are you not wearing any clothes? What the hell's going on? Oh, no, he is. That's okay. Did you for beating him in a bloody sword fight? Yes, that's what I thought. Oh, old age must have got him. Uh, apparently, our realm that we set up is losing to a Hellenic revolt, so I feel like I need to do something about it. Um, oh, my God, and they've sieged down our shit, too, so I can even raise the troops. Right, raise all here. Hold on. It's okay. I'll come in and save the day. Unbelievable. That was our son that we landed, too. What a fucking useless ruler he ended up being. All right, come back. Round two. Here we go. Come on. I believe in you. I What? No. Ex-husband. We're not. We're not not ex-husband. No, 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 no. Current, regular, real husband. Actual husband, Tao. What the hell is it talking about? The challenge. I'm sparring with one of my soldiers. Sweet beating. <laughs> okay, hang on. <clears throat> I'm sparring with one of my soldiers. Sweat beating on my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Granddaughter, Jello. Hello, Jello. You're not bad. Um, you're not really one to take over. How, how has this happened? Uh, Lucanthropos Ellis. Oh, more of our family members. But to be fair, they're different houses. So at least we've got that going for us. <gasps> no, you can't name it that, can you? Oh, boring. Just beautiful. Nope. I'm not... 
I'm not starting a new dynasty, a fresh slate on a character who's just looks good. I need someone with the smarts, with the elbow grease, with the power and the strength of mind to do it. Not someone who's just, oh, what a cute baby. You can be the ruler of everything, even though everybody's going to want you dead because you're a horrible half-breed and everybody thinks that's disgusting. No, we need more than that. We need way more than that. Oh no, my ex-husband Tao got me pregnant again. Who'd have thought that the man we were married to would do such a thing? <laughs> The second we get a good kid out of him, he's going back in the labyrinth, but my downwards. Natural schemas or squire traditions. Um, ooh, I guess we'll go for this one. Monthly piety, that's garbage. Garbage. That's okay. Bureaucrats is really good. Rubbish. Rubbish. Pretty rubbish. That's actually really good. Okay. Who'd have thought the five... I mean, that one's insane in our current situation. That's okay as well. Um, that's rubbish. Natural schemas, rubbish. Venial, rubbish. Um, my shots been one the merger against each dynasty member, rubbish. Mostly fair is pretty bad. That's pretty bad at this point. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Okay. Um, I kind of want to try and get the house guard because they're very powerful. Someone pointed out that these guys are obviously 100, 100 width, whereas, well, if, if width is, is actually the right word for it, but these ones are only 17. Um, so in some situations, you might actually have a more powerful army by just filling it full of one particular good unit. But the fact that uh, even then, if we go ahead and... Hang on, we can do some maths here. Let's do some basic maths. 17 divided by... Um, oh, sorry. It's 375 divided by 17, right? 22.5. If we take... Um, so, so if we, we want to make a man at arms regiment, let's say... I don't know. Who's our most offensive land? So 86, right? It's got to be as high as it goes. 86. Bear in mind it's unupgraded, so you could potentially get this higher. Um, that's only 40, though. I mean, that's what? 86 over 40? Oh, that's actually quite good, though, isn't it? 80, 86 over 40. Um, 2.1. Oh, so like a factor of 10 way lower. That, I don't, why does that just divide 86 by 40? If I couldn't fucking do that off the top of the head. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, I mean, even then, I know they're unupgraded, and it's not. It, it's kind of back of the napkin there a little bit. It is still... These things are still insane with regards to damage. But in the event of losses, like, without the screen, sure, this could be way more valuable. Because you're putting quite literally all your eggs in one basket in this situation. So we, if we lose a chariot, we are losing essentially a massive chunk. 117th, roughly. Um, compared to if you had a, a troop of 100 and lost, lost one dude, that's very different. So, although granted, they do have 10 times the toughness. I, overall, I don't know. I don't know, basically. Nictius. Come on. Genius. Beautiful Nictius. <gasps> Genius, beautiful. Hail Nictius. More than what I asked for. I need a wolf that's also a vampire. I'm going to type in vampire werewolf. Okay, here we are. Um, vamp vampire werewolf hybrid on the unnatural world wiki. I don't know what the hell the unnatural world wiki is. Um... Oh, it's just a wiki about unnatural things. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, what, what, is, what, is, what is this about? Uh, give me a name. What, give me a name of, of like what it could be. Tyler. That's fucking terrible. Uh, I don't want it, but it's sort of like, a, like a mythological name for a, a kind of a wolf vampire creature. Um, but after, after doing a, a very minor amount of research, apparently there's nothing. So little, little child, I'm going to call you. What's well, like a dog breed that, that does big bite? Like a, like a chihuahua. Um, like a, like a really vicious little dog. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Like, uh, yeah, I think Chihuahua is pretty good. Ch Chihuahua? It's, it's spelled like that, right? May grow strong and wise. Now, I, I also posit to you this. The, the ruler, the hybrid ruler of our massive city-state league <laughs> is going to be called Chihuahua, which... <laughs> We're going to have Chihuahua bringing about the fall of Komet, which I think is... Really just, just incredible. Really just the best thing we could have really asked for there. One of the building slot in Knossos, uh, evidently, because it says it there. I was going to see if we've got anything else that would give us, like, um, heavy, heavy, heavy chariot damage plus 10%. What the fuck? Plus 10%? Hang on, that's massive. Oh, that's just at level 1. 45%? Across your realm? <laughs> oh, what? Uh, so that's in City Holdings. No, that's way too strong. You're fucking kidding me. City Holdings, City Holdings. Bear with me. City Holdings. Build. Horse Breeder. Horse Breeder? Horse Breeder. 
No. Because if we just get two of those fully upgraded, that's double damage. They already do 375. What? <laughs> now we prevent Pergonancy. We have the ultimate child. Now I'm thinking there's a very simple thing we do here. And that is have one child per child for the rest of time. This guy marries a woman. It's with the immortality. They have a kid. Then they take on permanent, permanent celibacy. That kid gets married. This way we are keeping it fully controlled. And if we have the labyrinth too, we are not going to get a repeat of the, the, the lichens who are just going around fucking everything and anybody that moves, whether related to them or not, and making a thousand of them. Or the vampires of Kemet who are just biting anything with a pulse. We need to have some control here. Someone's got to bring about this bloody end of the Bronze Ages. Because right now, they're never going to end because everybody's freaking immortal. No, I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared. I'm still a bit working on the chariots. How, do, how far did we get them, though? Oh! <laughs> 862 per chariot. And they're just about to finish upgrading again, though. Boom. Okay. We need to call everybody in. Because we have a war against Kemet. Or more specifically, Kemet has brought the war to us. They need to... They need to step up to the plate here. Let's go ahead and full refresh. Negotiate alliances. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Call them in. Din Easter members, help me. No more Kemet. If we can crush them here, we could we could spin it around and then clap them. Um, against someone on my... Oh, fuck. We can't call her in. We can call you in. We can call you in. Now, one of my vassals also picked up another kingdom. Uh, one of our family members specifically got another kingdom uh, in Walusia up here. And they were just like, yeah, I'll be your ally. They just randomly picked it up. Our, our niece, cousin, and friend, which was fantastic. So they're kind of going automatically at this point. We are relying heavily on the allies because without them, we are, we are seriously in a little bit of a fucky-wucky. Right, get in here. So the only one we can't call in is Aphidor. We can call in house members, though. Oh, my God. Look at this. We're going to call absolutely everyone in. Can I just call in? Is there a call in all allies button? Anybody know? That would be a lot of... That would be a lot more helpful than, than this. Call allies. Call, call allies. Oh, shit, really? All right. Bear with me here. Send word to every Lucanthropos on any side of this earth, on any, any corner of this globe, that we... We need them. We, we need them right now. Because we are in a lot of trouble here. So Arcadia is, is currently fighting one of the people who has already responded to our call to arms. So they actually won't join us. Which is a shame because Arcadia is, is a pretty significant one. But every other Lucanthropos has agreed. And now we have to sit here and kind of accept all their responses. My god, the postman is going to be busy today, huh? <laughs> okay, give me, give me a second here. Everybody's in. Will it be enough? I honestly don't know. But what we do have is a chariot that almost does a thousand damage a chariot. So they they better be fucking prepared because we are coming out swinging here. And the best part is they are like the, the actual buildings themselves still have a couple more steps of upgrading left to do. So we can we can push it up to like twelve hundred damage per chariot. This is going to be huge. Tomorrow we fight Kemet, and tomorrow we might even play the uno reverse card and annihilate commit from the map because we are, we won't be a truce with them they'll be a truce with us so we just we just continue attacking and we break it down their empire entirely this this will be interesting i'm excited to see what we go from here thank you to what the monk christian blue dave ash i stab cows moira emily alex mr moma sideshow c Layla, Callum James 3, Ellaby, Dumgit, Buen Gun, One of Daz, I'm Sagatair, Demon X Jester, and Zetlock for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Coffee. Thank you guys for keeping the channel going. And a thank you as well to Gordy Number 1, Rotten Flesh, Fernando Penner, Mohammed, Alvin Flang, Tabula Rasa, Warhawk, Ginta Blade, Cyber Monkey, Astros Fan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, The Thick Mick, Ultra Spider 2000, Snow Lager, Sweet Team, Neil M, Kato, and Blue Chaos as well for their support and keeping the channel going. See you guys all tomorrow for chariots. <laughs>